Welcome again to another one of Soteria's settlements. I am Soteria, and welcome to Nuka World Settlement. This is the Red Rocket Nuka World. This is the third time I've had to play through Nuka World Expansion because it gets glitchy on me. So that's why uh, this is my current settlement. I have old settlements I still haven't even done videos on yet because, well, I cannot continue on my other settlements uh, because I had to reset this. So I reset um, this expansion and now um, I cannot go back to the regular Commonwealth without having glitches. So. I might have to delete it. So I'm doing my video now, just so I can show what I've done here. I think I've done a lot of cool stuff. So this is uh, a this is the third or fourth, third time I think, I have done this settlement and this is definitely the best one I have made. And I'm very happy with it, very happy with it. So here we are. As you can see, we're on the outskirts of the settlement and you will notice a few things right off the bat. You will see a lot of corn. My whole idea of Nuka World is making it one of the bigger cities in the Commonwealth with the marketplace, basically we can refurbishing all of uh, the main uh, Nuka World location into housing and hotels and hospital and everything else. So basically we want to build the city up and we also took over the Nuka bottling plant over there so we can make Nuka Cola and other refreshments or even just bottled water for the rest of the Commonwealth. It's a great facility. We can do many things with it. I think even in Fallout 76 and the new storyline, they were making, uh, yes, we, it was we made that uh, vaccination drink for, um, the scourge and it was in a bottle and you can make your own bottle on it so there's so many different things especially seeing how you know uh my storyline that i have is that i am a colonel from the u.s army reestablishing the government and i have an access code to take over any robot so all those assault trons in there and different mr handies uh we just put them right to work defending the place and i'll tell you a little bit about my plans for this area in my storyline. So, number one thing you need to make pop, if you're from other places that call it soda or God forbid Coke, you are wrong. Sodi pop, but it's pop and here in Ohio. So, you need sugar. Well, guess what? There's no sugar cane in the Commonwealth. Uh, so I would think, figure sugar is very hard to come by, but not corn syrup. I know that nasty stuff that everyone wants to say so bad now. Well, 200 years in the future, trying to reestablish society, we can grow corn and then we have our corn syrup. So we're not too picky here in the Commonwealth in the future because, well, we're just happy we're not starving. So this is, the city is, or our settlement here is the beacon of entering the area. Uh, if you, um, obviously, in reality, right through these mountains here would be the area that you would come down from uh, the different settlements in the Commonwealth. As you can see, the road clearly goes back up there. I would not use the monorail system. I would use that strictly for military purposes. So if people were traveling here, caravans and everything, they were going to come right down through here and I would, I'd like to reestablish this town and get it moving. But basically anywhere in this facility, you're going to be targeted by machine gun turrets, which I have a perimeter around the edge here, as you can see, along with missile launchers all throughout uh, the place here. And even imaginary in my storyline, I would put missile launches and machine gun turrets on all the walls circling the whole Nuka-Cola. So basically, if you came anywhere within a mile radius of this place, 
and you weren't supposed to be here and you would get blown into oblivion. So let's do a tour of this and then we'll kind of go over some ideas of what I, what I would do if I was actually reestablishing society. As you can see, we have lots of corn here, much corn. And I made these little Nuka-Cola uh, machine box for harvesting it. They have an ax hand and a laser hand. And I created about 10 or so of these. And for some reason, they all go down on the south side of the corn on the other side, which I'll show you shortly. And this is the only one that comes up here. I also have one human that, that picks corn up here. Don't know why, but it is what it is. So to the, this is the north side, so this is the east side. Uh, we have this wall here that goes up to this place where uh, raiders respawn. Uh, but I have a perimeter of all these guns and we have another acre of corn up here. Along with another batch of corn here. And then we get back to the, the south lot, which is huge. And this is where all my Nuka-Cola bots harvest their corn for some reason. For some reason we have quite a bit of uh, the female, these guys, I might get the video going, I can't think of what I'm saying, um, ghouls. There's three of them, I call them sisters. They all made it through through here and uh, they were also in the military, so we brought them on to the Minutemen. The one is a sniper who's supposed to be on top of our tower, which I haven't gotten to yet, but she will not go up there. But we just have some regular Minutemen there out here farming, but I made enough of these bots to take care of everything, but I don't know why they're congregating here, but it is what it is. So our parameter, like I said, has machine gun turrets all around. We have tanks, assault tanks, and transport tanks. We also had uh, have trees going with the uh, that system, which I was gonna look up before. I can't remember what it's called, the GEC system, I think. It's supposed to redo plant life. My storyline, we brought that back up from DC after Fallout 3, my character, and when I came up here looking for my wife and child who were frozen because they were part of the plan to reestablish society. Uh, long story short, we brought up one of those, those packs up here to uh, Curie, Curie, and because she has been doing medical science for 200 years in that shelter, bunker, uh, she was able to reproduce it, so every settlement we have, we have beautiful vegetation because we're trying to reestablish not only society, but normal life in the world. So when we get closer to our settlement, or this is basically a Minutemen military base, this would be the most western base in uh, the Commonwealth. So basically if anybody would be coming in from the west they'd have to come over these mountains and they'd be find our city here but it would be hugely populated with military we use brotherhood of steel walls for the outside with machine gun turrets at every corner and every entrance and where i couldn't put them we put concrete walls which right through this area is very complicated because there's this hill here and it just didn't work out perfectly, but that's okay. This is actually a weakness because you couldn't jump right over the over here, but you'd be getting shot in the head with a machine gun and going through the bottle wire. So good luck to them if they want to try that. I literally just reconnected all of these lights. So they'd be working for the video and they're already not working now. Oops. Now I just moved all my guys. I just ruined the video. All right. So, and at the front here, you can use mostly concrete walls uh, to make kind of a shelter with the uh, red rocket roof there. Now at the top of the bottle up there, it took me some work, but you will see 
a body armor, and that's the overboss's body armor. In my story, I had nothing to do with these raiders. We came, the Minutemen came here to destroy the raider groups. And of course I took on, you know, I had to follow the storyline where I had to take him on in that arena and he died. But in my storyline, we captured him and to make an example of all the raiders after we slaughtered all the raiders and set free everybody, we welded him in there, welded it shut and hoisted him to the top there. And that's where he died. As a shining example of what happens with raiders. What? Who's talking to me? Get out of here. I haven't even asked you anything. We want everybody in this area to remember what happened to the raiders, and if you are going to loot and murder and rape and pillage, then you are going to die. It's as simple as that. So this is the north entrance. Uh, as you can see, it has the guns and the light, which is not shining again. It's not turned on, but it was one. There it goes, and that's one on the corner here. No matter if I'm doing the video now, I'll probably never be back here again. But uh, we have our transport ex that come right through here, come out here, and they get right in, and they're tanked anywhere they need to go. I would say there's two up in the driver's seat, there's two in the back, and there's one guy in, uh, in armor right here, power armor. Now here we have a little place set up for a caravan. Unfortunately, they don't come anymore. They came when I first started doing this and I'd set them up as an additional place I could sell and buy goods to build this place. But they don't come anymore. But they have a nice set up here. They have beds and shelter and fires. So let's go into the West ex uh, entrance. Each entrance has a guard above it. It has barricades so the woods can't rush it. It also, the doors can be closed. Keep people out if you must. The thing literally stopped working already. Uh, the first couple times I had uh, the Clear It All app, and I still have it, but for some reason it's not working, and I can't get rid of all these stupid bushes. Uh, there's some out in the cornfields, and this one here is obviously the most annoying one. But the way it all worked out, that's where it went. So you come on in and to the left here, here is our major in charge of this yes. facility and uh, his comms location. And in my mind, there's like tent flaps that come down and cover this for some bad weather. Here are the other two ghoul girls, sisters. This one was a sniper in the army back in, in the great war. So I brought them all in as Minutemen, and she is supposed to be up there on top of the tower, which we'll get to in a bit. I've got that to work at other locations, but here she just won't spawn up there, so she is, maybe it's because this one's higher, I'm not sure, but, but, so that's fine. You know what I call a good day? One day. One that ends without an empty stomach. Okay, I never heard that before. So right inside the wall here, first of all, we have a guard right up the top here. We have double secure gates to get in this front door. This would be, like I said, the main entrance. That's why there's security gates where the other ones just have barricade doors. Technically, they would probably be closed all the time. But we have a guard right up here. So much for the pit. Well, screw you, buddy. I court martial you for that. But he has this little uh, console here that he can open and, and close the gates and let people in. As you can see, he's clearly protected. So, screw you to your minute man coming. Down here, we have a couple power armor stations. I have four power armor here. They're all power armor I got in this location. This one here was actually one that's just south of here up on that uh, bypass where the gunners are. If you execute him before you go in there from a distance, you can steal it. Well, then I had some uh, X01 armor, but I didn't have a full set. And here is the T51 that I had almost a whole set for. 
That's the helmet you get out of the Star Command Zone. And uh, that is an X01 torso. That's the only piece I didn't have left. So you see they have their toolboxes to work on them, computers, the programming. So they're good to go. To the left here, because this is where people would come in, uh, visitors, and come in here and sit down by the fire, relax, go over here and eat or do whatever you want to do. But also I had some extra room here, so I made some outdoor bathrooms right here next to this elevator. So they can just go in there and learn all about cleanliness. Go to the bathroom. Ah, I feel better. Come here and wash their hands. And then you can close this off and leave the door open out there so people can wash their hands while they're going to the bathroom. So we have outdoor bathrooms for visitors or whoever. Well, you know, I figure a lot of soldiers, they, this is their main camp, so they come back here and relax by the fire and what have you. This elevator goes up to the second floor, which we'll be getting to shortly, but this perimeter wall on the, uh, back here, not through here. My last one did have it go through here, but it wasn't as, as messier, so I made it better. It actually goes up to the wall on top too, but we'll get to that here in a little bit. To the left here, we've got some supplies and stuff, and uh, a gurney to bring in wounded soldiers. We have the clinic. Very small uh, field clinic, hospital. And inside here we have our doctor. How are you doing today, doctor? Not much to say. We have room for one patient to monitor. These are hard to do with these Brotherhood of Steel construction, so I use the concrete and I made this but there's no I thought I put a door on there I guess I didn't yeah, I wish there was something I could just put over there I, I would construct so it wouldn't be open like that but I can't so we're just gonna imagine it but she can come in here and work on her computer and she has a bathroom in here locker clean up and everything she has a refrigerator with blood packs in it that's where people put their blood she has a washer dryer to clean all the bloody stuff and then this side component here this is the operating room thankfully the uh the fresh commonwealth app i use makes the grass grow up so that looks horrible but that's how every single one is i just ignore it in here they got the oxygen and they clean up again and tools for operating the commonwealth people they use saws and hammers Yeah, the way you say that makes me not like you. Down here, uh, here's our armory. Here's our uh, sergeant of arms. He's a, I got some good stuff in here, security door. But uh, we made this, so there's plenty of ammunition in here, every kind of gun you need, but these are all- Another day of hard work. Legendary weapons from this nuclear world. These are, so I wasn't gonna keep all these weapons, but because they you know, they were all legendary, I thought I would keep them. This is the Nuka nuke launcher you get for saving or uh, finishing the, all the little cappy letter things and getting into uh, the founder of uh, Nuka-Cola, where you have to make a decision on some stuff there. I got some more epics here over here. I got one up here, and the rest of them are just still in. Because people gotta get normal weapons too, so they always get their sidearm and their combat rifle, and then they can upgrade as they advance in the Minutemen. The machine guns, or even the, these are the, want the guns here in, uh, Nuke world. That's what I have. So here we've got some more tools and storage area for I don't know, this wine or wheat or something. We have all of our different workbenches. And we have two more power armor stations. These are the two power ones that you can get. This is the quantum power armor. 
for doing the star core quest line and this is the one you get in the bottling plant and over here we just got some scavenging stations and we got some place to grow up some hot dogs and back here we got the uh, uh, that's where the corn is and where all the robots are. But it's a nice wall that could, our guards can walk and just. Yeah. And then it takes us up to the second level. This is where the main bunker's at. Power supply, our missile launchers, and our radar. Got this little place up here. They can play cards or eat or just hang out and sit here. Now the bunkers, I had it set up originally different, but uh, I had to make a, a second woman's bunk bunker. So there's a woman's bunker here. They can close them stuff off. The guys don't get that much privacy. They have computers to check their emails and check the internet news. They have washer dryers. bathroom here they got two sinks kind of tight quarters but it works two bathrooms go potty and two showers unfortunately I couldn't make them separate so you gotta get a shower buddy and hopefully nothing happens that doesn't not supposed to happen and I froze up Okay, so it looks like this is part one. I guess I'll get working on part two next.